I was born in Ondo, Texas. It's the seat of Medina County, which is just 40 miles west of San Antonio. A small town where Mexican American community, the Latinx community, does not hold political power, very much economically segregated and racist. My parents were, were very politically active. My dad, he was elected once or twice to city council. When Lyndon Johnson was elected president, my dad and mom received an invitation to the inauguration in Washington, D.C. And so when I went to school, my white teacher told me, my husband and I have been in invited to the inauguration of Lyndon Baines Johnson. And I raised my hand and I said, my dad also got an invitation. And she looked at me and she said, sure he did, honey. After that experience or those experiences, I didn't become helpless or cynical because I witnessed the courage of my parents and other leaders in that community as they struggled for justice, as they struggled for equality. When the, the Chicano movement, Chicano resistance, you know, came around in the 60s and the 70s, I mean, we were ready for that. We'd been preparing for that all our lives. And I was already an adult. I was, it was this was in 1974. Many of the, the Mexican uh, children in school uh, were being punished for speaking Spanish, just as I was. Children in first grade, if they didn't know English and they spoke Spanish in the classroom, some of the teachers would uh, tape their mouths with masking tape and sit them in a corner all day. And so parents were, were fed up with that. And they had gone to the school board, you know, speak to the school board, tried to change these things. Nothing, you know, nothing would get resolved. It was already agreed upon and they had talked to the children and on one day at a certain time you know the children just walked out even elementary children we stayed out until we got some some resolutions and uh, and then went back to school observing the walkout Made me, made me think about arts and culture because arts and culture had always been part of, of the work that we did, that my parents did. There was always music. There was always, you know, the food. There was always dance. It is so rich and it's everywhere you turn. Arts and culture were weaved into our everyday lives. In addition to the work that I love and the field that I love, it's the family, la familia. That's the way I see Nalak. I see Nalak as a familia. You see here on this wall and here, all of the classes, you know, 21 classes of leadership training, 11 classes of Advocacy Institute, three years of Intercultural Leadership Institute. We always give them a candle and I, I remind them to remember, to remember each other and to remember their work and the work of their communities and when they're struggling to light the candle and remember that they have others that will support them and to remember that you're part of a larger family, that you're not alone, that there is an organization that cares about your work and will support your work. And I see the impact that we've made it really gives me a lot of hope. Several years ago, I, I went to an advocacy training in D.C. and we actually were having a small meeting in the White House. A, a young woman used to work in the Department of Agriculture as an undersecretary. She came in and after her presentation, she had mentioned that she was from Medina County. I went up to her and I said, oh, I'm, I'm from Hondo, you know, and, and she said, oh, well, I was a state representative and I covered that region. And she said, do you know T.A. Lopez? He helped me so much with the campaign. And I'm forever grateful. And I was just aghast because that's my dad. And I said, that's my dad. And the tears flowed because I, I never thought that, that I would hear my father's name in the walls of the White House.
The horizon for NALAC is very bright because of the many leaders, of the alumni, of the fellows. I see strength. My hope at the summit is that folks that will be participating will remember each other and remember that it's so important that they know each other, that they support each other, and that they continue to learn, to advocate, and to create, to create that, that beauty